Let's get to the Trader Rundown now with Jared Levy, the Chief Market Strategist at Peak American Financial. Good to have you with us, Jared. We are talking trader tricks and trader treats on the show today. What do you have for us? Yeah, well, well first off, happy Halloween out there. Uh, be safe tonight and be safe in the markets. You know, we're one of the things that a lot of folks are talking about right now is this correction in the S&P 500, right? Is it a trick? Is it a treat? Corrections are when the market or stock is down 10% generally is the first gauge. And the S&P, it is down more than 10% more than 10% from its highs. Now, the good news is it's still up 7% on the year. Jared, what tends to happen next when the S&P is down 10%? Um, I went and did some research and in the past 15 corrections, the S&P 500 took an average of three months from its correction to recover. And it gained an average of about 10% a year later. So the lesson here is corrections are usually, not all the time, but usually a buying time. And in fact, 2022, there were three corrections in the S&P 500. So what I'm thinking is, it's a treat. How would you go about getting the most out of this stock market treat with your trade of the day? You know, again, I think it's a treat we got to take carefully. We got to be you know, cautious about it. You don't just jump all in and <laughs> with all your candy, so to speak, being your money. I think here, the smart way to play, what I'm doing is I'm looking at the SPY, the S&P 500 ETF, and I'm looking at selling the November 400 put. I can do that for about $3, which just means I'm going to get $300 into my account. Now, you're saying, Jared, why are you doing that? Well, the reason is with the S&P about 5% or so higher, I can let it go. Let's just say it goes down a little further. I get to buy it at a discount. I get to buy it at $400 and I get paid $3 to do that. Now let's assume I'm forced to buy it. Then what I might go and do is sell a public call against it. So what I'm saying in short here, guys, could be a buying opportunity. I'm not saying there's not volatility ahead, but if, you, if you're if a long-term investor, these corrections, these dips are the time where you start to dip your toe in and selling something like the 400 foot November might be the best way to do it. Thank you, Jared. Great way to take the fear factor out of the market. Thank you. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.